Greetings. I'm Command Sergeant Major Gerald Ecker of the United States Army Medical Command. It gives me great pleasure to take a few moments to address you during your Chaplain Corps strategic training and readiness engagement. Army Medicine and the Army Chaplain Corps have a very special and long-standing relationship concerning the health and life of our soldiers and family members. Together, we have been given the precious duty to care for and heal our military's most precious asset, our people, God's people. Growing up in the Lutheran doctrines of the Christian faith, I personally have found great comfort, peace, and strength through your Corps' precepts and actions. Throughout my toughest training endeavors and combat deployments to include the everyday challenges as a soldier, I and my family have found encouragement and hope through your Chaplain Corps. As a career combat medic, I have enjoyed a very close relationship with you in providing a true holistic healing hand through the word and spirit. When reason, science, technology, and medics meet their human limitations, the Chaplain Corps fills the human gap with hope, truth, and life, the way. Doctors, nurses, and medics simply provide medicine. You, however, profess the cure. As a professional non-commissioned officer, my interactions with command chaplains and chaplain's assistants over the years have provided me with counsel, correction, forgiveness, and friendship. You have always reminded me of the first true priority of work, and that is to know God's grace and the peace that he provides, whatever the situation may be. I have found this to be my true combat power, freely given through the love of a champion who saves me. Today it may seem sometimes as if our society and our army thinks less about organized religion or personal spirituality. I find myself asking, where in the world is God? It seems the good that man should do is often not done. Sexual harassment and assault, spouse and child abuse, and the human suffering of troubled marriages and divorce, suicide and suicidal ideations, the difficult pathology of post-traumatic stress disorder, and the sheer hopelessness in the hearts and minds of too many of our soldiers. The Army has made superhuman strides in addressing and preventing these actions that just continue to be our contemporary challenge, our very own human condition. I believe this condition is more than what man can manage alone. As a Christian, I appreciate and, and believe the words of the Apostle Paul when he described himself and us so well when he stated, wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? Sometimes it does seem that there is just no health in us, but God does remind us that he will never leave us or forsake us, and that he created us for his good works to help and love our neighbor, and to be imitators of him so that others may know him and be still. I believe the great I am still is, and I believe his word was and is now with us. And I believe that all of you in our great chaplain corps are the core to Army Medicine's healing art. You have always been and will continue to be a powerful force multiplier and partner with us. And I am reminded of a poignant photo from the Korean War that depicts a young medic and a brave Medal of Honor recipient chaplain, Captain M.L.J. Kapan, showing compassion and assisting a casualty on a very lonely frozen battlefield. I am proud of all of you and what you stand for, regardless of your personal religious belief or spiritual creed. The Chaplain and Medical Corps will continue to work side by side to care for our soldiers and families, now and into the future, whatever that may bring. God help us. I pray that all of you enjoy some hearty fellowship and a very fruitful gathering. As a Minnesota Lutheran, I'm wondering if you will enjoy some potluck hot dish. If you don't know what that is, just ask someone who talks like they're from Canada, or would have you believe that Martin Luther was one of the 12 apostles. Readiness through soldier and family care, Chaplain Corps identity, and leadership. Hua, Chaplain Hurley, sir, and Sergeant Major Chaplain, I salute you and your Corps for the good word and God's work that you do for our Army. May God bless you both as you continue to lead your team and our great Army. And may the peace of the Lord be with you all. Army medicine is one team, one purpose, conserving the fighting strengths since 1775.